<laughs> you practice to deceive a tangle web you weave. <laughs> this is so true. When we practice, oh, oh, what a tangle web we weave. When we practice to deceive. And, and what's that song I'm trying to I'm trying to get to? Uh, you practice to deceive, attain the web you weave. What is that? Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da. The emotions. That song, y'all, it hits the key. Because what is going on? I blame all of them. Everybody, everybody that has not been fighting for truth, justice, equality in a real sense. I don't mean in this political sense like the corporate Democrats that is fashionable to say, I love all people. I'm, 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 uh, when I speak of love, I think I always pray for the president. I, uh, I'm not talking about that kind. Of deception. What I'm talking about is since the uh, surges and since the Civil War, and especially since the Civil Rights, we have had um, an opportunity to reset the condition, to go to the heart of the matter, which is the truth, to change the history books, to tell the truth. Look how much time we've had. And these people, these elitist pieces of shit, have decided to design the world where whiteness, this imaginary word, and this imaginary construct that they've created is going to sustain them forever and ever. Amen. I'm going to snatch back into my another mental bank. Forever and ever. Amen. We going to do this shit forever. Forever. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, listen. You, listen to what I'm saying. Had you start telling the truth. Had you start... Dr. King lost his life. Malcolm X lost their life. Look at every uh, Caesar Chavez. Look at every Caesar Chavez. Look at everybody who have lost their lives trying to bring some truth. Uh, Schroeder, Cheney, Viola, Luso, every, anybody. Uh, um, anybody, anybody, anybody who has tried to go against this whiteness has found themselves on the outside of um, of, of, of um, American of the American way so called however we should have kept reminding them that the indigenous people of this planet is not of this earth right now where we at are not white you cannot come and discover a place and claim it has lost when there's people on the land. All that shit should have been shut down. In our school system, that's why I said the education system, how can we expect the oppressor, the person who created all the goddamn garbage, to revitalize us? It's up to us to tell the truth. Under all, any and every circumstance, and it hurts. It's not good to be on the other side of truth. I still get truth every day that I'm not comfortable with. A lot of times I want to cuss the people out. You know, a lot of times, you know, my my claws come out and I want to be like, who the? But if you want to grow, if you want to evolve, that don't mean you got to wear it. That don't mean you got to claim it. But you can hear it and begin to let it, as my man say, sizzle in your spirit.
We have been unwilling to do that as a nation, as a country. And now the whole world laughing at us and, and this democracy's fake scam. We're talking about democracy and you out there in the street shooting innocent black people because black people don't want to be st oppressed anymore. So the only way you can do anything, because you really haven't had a job for us since slavery. So just think about it. All the stuff you found for us to do when it was free. Oh, everything. Everybody had work to do. When your labor was free. And when we told you you can't make people do shit like this against their will. Even the white people that knew this is insane. You can't go and say these people are three-fifths human and they're not real, but you down there having sex with them. Making babies, brown color baby. What the f what kind of psychological freak is this? None of this psychosis was addressed. None of it. Had the psychosis been addressed, damn it, the mental house wouldn't be so deep. So I hope mental professionals all over this goddamn country, mental health professionals, get a grip and tell the truth. And if you don't know the truth, then it is incumbent upon you to learn the real truth. That you are not our mothers and fathers. In fact, we're yours. And we got to start there. Because the disrespect for the indigenous people all over the planet has brought us to this. And the lies. And the upholding of the lies. Donald Trump was a symptom of a cause that was so much greater. Remember, he's the son of a Klansman. I haven't used Facebook since they censored me for saying that. Three years ago, maybe. I know y'all hear the puppies cutting up, so they got to take pictures today, and I can't be on here long. But listen, y'all. Listen, I, I got to get this out my spirit. Donald Trump and has been brought up, um, and a lot of us, if we've been lucky enough to have fathers who are in, uh, influential in our lives, good or bad, they've taught us some things that um, we take with us and they are positive, and there's some things they taught with us that are negative. Donald Trump was raised by a, a racist Klansman. Not because I want to call him that. He was already deemed that in the federal courts. And then all y'all, all these other people, these enablers, these flying monkeys want to keep saying, oh, he's not trying to do that. He's not. And, and for, for us, those of us of color, the pressure is so deep. That's why we always with high blood pressure. That's why we are. Because we live in with demonic energy that lies. They never have lies. Now, everything about them is a lie. And when you understand that, it goes against your very heartbeat. So they pile, stockpile all these weapons of mass destruction. So when you get to confront them about their lies, they kill you. You know? You get killed. Now, 2020 exposed so many things. And now you got white people suffering from a delusion of whiteness. And they are willing. They were willing to go and put, set that uh, uh, um, um, capital up as gallows. They fucking had nooses hanging. Tell me, they looking for Mike Pence? The same guy that they was just their boy. The people are psychotic, just as psychotic as all those black people that went to Jonestown, that y'all white people laughed at and drank that Kool-Aid. The only sad part is they're not all going to kill themselves because it's like 70 million of them. So what we going to do? 
It ain't going to happen in my lifetime. I'll be gone. My grandbabies will be here. And my great, 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 if there's still a world. So we got to do things like we care about them. It's not about us anymore. It's really not. So we got to tell the truth, white people. Tell the truth. And if you don't know the truth, you're going to have to go find out. Because once you get to the truth, your nation is going to change for real, for real. You see it changing already because you can't stop God. Can't. You can't perpetuate lies, lies, lies. I mean, they lasted 400 years. But most civilizations last for thousands. We're, we're Johnny come lately. And we're already about to destroy ourselves for our lack of knowledge and our unwillingness to deal with the truth. It's like the story so when King Solomon was heard with the baby. I think Dio um, did that so elegantly when he talked about how the handmaidens when the two women had the babies. Huh. And one was willing to split the baby in half. Because she, she knew it wasn't hers. She didn't mind killing the baby. Because it was her baby that was... Well, let me just tell the same story. I can't think what, what scripture is in. But there were two women that had a baby. Right? Same age. I'll, I'll make it more modern. And... As the handmaiden went to serve the, the like the queen, like during the night, the queen baby had died, and it's and what she did was she was like ah, and she checked the handmaiden's baby and it was still alive, so she switched babies, right? As if you're not gonna know your baby, so the next morning. This the the the, uh, they, the the lady woke up. The handmaiden is like, ah, what? This this is not my baby. It's your baby, and the baby is dead. You know, what can me? You got my baby. She said, this ain't my your baby. I'm sorry, your baby done died through the night, honey. But this is my baby. And she was like, you got my baby. So he went to go see King Saul. They went to the king. All right, told the story. King said, okay, we're going to find out who baby it is. Since I can't figure it out, which one of y'all lying? Both of y'all had a baby. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to split the baby in half. You can have a half. She can have a half. The righteous handmaiden, who all of y'all would probably look down on in spirit and in deed, said, oh, 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 no, 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 no. She can, she can have the baby. She can have the baby. I don't want the baby split in half. Because the one who, who lost the baby, she really didn't give a damn. Right? Because her baby, she knew her baby was really dead anyway. She knew she had that woman's baby. And if that baby got to be split in half, oh well, you won't have a baby and I won't have a baby. Because it will be dead. We'll be even. See, that's a cruel thinking individual. Don't matter if she was somebody's mother. But the king in his infinite wisdom said, Oh! Oh! Oh, wait a minute. This baby belongs to the handmaid. Because ain't nobody gonna want no baby split in half in a right mind that was really, truly a mother. And who hadn't lost a baby already. Who, who would want a baby split in half? So right then. If y'all can get what I'm saying. He had made the decision. That the baby belonged to the handmaiden. And not the woman who was willing to kill that baby as well. He knew her baby was dead. Must have been dead. Because her heart was already hardened. And she wanted to see somebody else suffer. Okay. So, when I think about these people, these terrorists, these domestic terrorists, 
who have infiltrated the streets. We all over the place. They everywhere. Your school system. Uh, people telling us, you know, why would you want to go to college? You're only going to be a maid. That type of stuff. I grew up. So it never ended. Never ended. And we weren't willing to tell the truth. And we built a country on straws. A house of cards. So, this is, as my dear great uncle would say, a case of the chickens coming home to roof. So, I got to get these puppies. As y'all can hear, they're just going nuts. God bless you all. Um, be safe. The only thing is greater than you lives in you. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I love you, family. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay? Bye-bye.